Welcome, in front of me is an Ogitel WP35 and today I will show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now before I get started I'm gonna quickly mention that doing such a reset will allow you to get rid of a screen lock if you have one set that you don't know. Uh, but most of the time this will mean that your device becomes FRP locked and just to explain that what the FRP is, it's a lock that you need to verify when going through the setup of the device after the reset. So you'd have to either verify the screen lock, which if you're doing this because you don't know it, that will leave you with a Google account. So I just want to warn you uh, if that shows up, uh, just know that this is just a verification. Now to get started with the reset, all you would need to do is hold your power button. You can do that on when the device is unlocked or locked, it doesn't really matter. And now select power off. When the device turns off, hold your power button and after you feel the vibration, that means that the device is starting to turn on. Once you feel that, let go of the power button and immediately start holding volume up. So I'm going to do that right now. Vibration, volume up, and this takes us to the boot mode. In here, using a volume up only, you want to select recovery mode, which is the first option. So just make sure that this arrow jumps all the way to the top, as you can see. By pressing volume up once it's at the bottom then it jumps all the way to the top once it's at the top press volume down now for a moment the device will look like it's not doing anything but then it just reboots and takes us to the recovery mode in here we can use both volume buttons to navigate so using volume down you can scroll down and select wipe data factory reset once it's selected confirm it using your power button and select factory data reset again is it the same way. Confirm that and you will see that it's formatting data and the next thing you will see is data wipe complete. At which point reboot system now will be selected by default so press power button once more to initiate the said reboot. Now this will now continue resetting the device in the background and because it's doing so it will take the device a little bit longer to boot back up. Don't worry that's completely normal. Once it's finished resetting it in the background we will be presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible for me. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like. So with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.